Good morning, my fellow homesteaders. I'm back with another, it ain't crazy or lazy if it works, tip of the day. In this case, I'm gonna show you a little bit about my electric fence going around my garden. Now, I know I've already posted a few short videos um, a week or two ago, but I thought I would do a little bit more in depth one this time on uh, electric fence to protect your garden. So check this my out. My little homestead garden here has two gates, one right here in front of us, and the other one way down there, just wide enough for my tractor to fit through. Um, already have trusses and what have you, putting in a, a, a larger greenhouse, probably like a 30 by 90 to 100 right there in that area. But this is a electric fence video. So if you're working on a budget, here's an easy hack. This was some old pipe that I found and it works really well as an insulator. You don't have to purchase insulators. Just simply make sure that it's not grounding out on that wooden post, which is really only a problem when it's wet. You can do two different ways. You can drill holes through it, wrap the wire around it, or you can cut these nifty little notches, making sure that they are down on about a 45 degree angle so that the wire sits down in it and can't just fall out if it gets bumped by whatever that happens to be inside the garden. Thin kerf cuts for electric fence strands. And if you are using barbed wire, which has some drawbacks, slightly wider kerf. There is some concern about an animal getting hung up in that. I had the barbed wire and I ran out of the electric fence. I may change it out later. but I don't think it's much of a risk of an animal getting hung in that. Now, in my case, I've gone quite a distance between the posts, as you can see from there, all the way down to here, probably a good 50 feet. And in order to keep rabbits out, I wanted the wire to be really, really close to the ground. As you can see, I'm not sticking my finger down there because it is on, but three fingers width. So I use a small PVC pipe with a notch in the top. Every so often, just to keep the wire from sagging and actually touching the ground. I did purchase some commercially manufactured insulators, but that also works just as well. Now, as far as a gate goes, there's all sorts of options. Uh, I do intend to improve on this gate in the future, but for now, this is a really quick, down and dirty, simple gate hack. I've got a few nails and the wire is wrapped around this PVC pipe. And all I do is grab it and pull and let it fall over. Now that doesn't work if that's barbed wire because it gets all tangled, but when it's that smooth wire like that, you just pick it back up, hook it on the nails and you're good to go. Now I've gone about seven foot in height. I'm hoping that's enough to keep the deer from jumping over it. Now, currently I'm using the American Farmworks solar powered fence charger, and it seems to be doing quite well. It has this nice on off button up here, it has this flashing light. As long as it's flashing, it's telling you that the fence is okay. It has this nice push to test battery health monitor. Push, watch and it will tell you full charge. Have the exact same style of gate down here. Simply grab this, swing it out of the way. I know this is a bit redneck. I used a piece of barbed wire for a grounding wire, and this is critically important. So I have a brass coated ground rod, six foot driven into the ground, five foot worth of the rod. Now, if your soil, is too sandy and dry, it may take more than one ground rod to get a proper grounding to get proper current. I'm not energizing all of these strands. I'm only doing like the bottom five strands, I believe it is, which I'm hoping will be enough for if a deer comes up and sniffs it, we'll encourage it not to come in here. I've used a single strand of electric fence wire coming from the hot side down around, tied onto this strand, and then I've just ran them together 
all the way down to the ground and up and over and back down so that both sides of the gate are charged. And that, my friends, is my little electric fence and it seems to be doing the job quite nicely so far.